Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabump.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Today on my wait what tip video, I would like to show you some of the really cool elements in the Eastern Palace suite. So I know this has been out for a little while. I'm a little um, late to get on the bus. Don't, don't kid yourself. I've been using this. I just really haven't had time to sit down and investigate all the elements. And I finally had some time to do that. So I wanted to share it with you because there's some um, interesting little images in this stamp set, like this little thing. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not really quite sure what that is. And what am I gonna do with that little heart deal with the dot on it? And you know, I don't know. So I actually got a chance to sit down and play with this and play with the framelits. Um, so I'm gonna kind of be concentrating on how they both complement each other and showing you some really neat things. Plus I have 13 cards made with this suite to show you. So make sure you stick with me here. You'll see some really, really beautiful cards. Okay, so let's get started here. Here's a card that I made and I used um, some of the thinlets from the Eastern Medallion pack and the stamps from the Eastern Beauty. That's the name of the two different items. And I love that we can make a sunflower out of these very, very pretty thinlets. This, for example, is what I made the sunflower out of. So I wanted to show you how I did that. So I've got a piece of crushed curry cardstock here, and I'm just gonna run this through my big shot. I'll be right back. Okay, and once I've done that, you can see that the flower stays attached to your piece of cardstock, but all it punches out are the petals and these little elements inside the petals. So you can pop this up on a card front and you've got a really neat look with that, right? Or you can take your paper snips and you can snip just this tiny little bit in between each petal, which is super easy to do, and you're going to get this flower that you can then use to make your sunflower card. I'm gonna show you some different things using this in just a second. Okay, there we go. There's our sunflower. Um, here's a card that I made with this particular thinlet also, and you can see I used rich razzleberry here. Let me see. Here's another card made with it where they didn't cut in between these petals and they put a layer of our gold foil underneath. So that's pretty neat looking too. So you've got two very distinct things you can do with this particular thinlet. Now, back to my sunflower card. I took two of these and stacked them together so that the petals were um, alternating. Then I took my two and a half inch circle punch and punched out a circle and ran it through the softly falling embossing folder, which gives me all these neat little polka dots. So I thought that was a great element for the center of my sunflower. The layer that's right here is four by four. This is early espresso, by the way. And I also ran that through the softly falling embossing folder. So we've got some great texture going on here. I mounted the flower onto my card front, onto this layer with some dimensionals. Then I wanted to show you how I made my leaves. So I took this particular framelit and I cut out a piece of old olive cardstock and then I just used my paper snips and I cut in between these petals. And now if you want to, on some of them I rounded, I rounded the edges off just a little bit so they're not looking all weird and jaggedy, right? Oh, is that the right one? I don't even think this is the one I use, but look it, that would make a great leaf. So that's a great leaf. Let me find the one that I did use. 
here it is right here. This is the one that I cut out and used on my card. And again, I just took the piece like this and I cut in between and I layered two of them together and glued them right underneath my flower right here. So not only can you make sunflowers, but you can also make the leaves that accent them. Then I wanted to show you down here on the bottom, I actually got this, um, this little idea down here from one of my stamp and demonstrator friends. And I took this little element and stamped all the way across here. And let me just show you that for a second. Okay, so I've got early espresso here, and I'm going to stamp that right down the, at, the, at the bottom of my layer, and then I'm going to come in with this cute little element and just stamp it all the way across. Super easy, right? You get the idea? So that's exactly what I did right here. So you've got just a really neat card and something you completely wouldn't expect out of this stamp set, right? That's why I'm like, wait, what? How did they do all this? Okay, let me show you a few other really neat things. Now I'm going to take this flower stamp and I'm using Dapper Denim ink here. And I'm going to stamp my flower. And then I'm going to come in with Pool Party. And remember this element that I'm like, yeah, I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with that. Well, here it is. And I am going to stamp in between on the outside of this flower. And this just makes the whole flower pop. I'm using Pool Party on this outside edge. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Now, if you want to, we can come back in and put a center in our flower with this little element. And that's how I got that look. Okay, let's keep going here. Come in with fresh fig. I'm gonna clean my stamp off. We're gonna come in with fresh fig and we're gonna stamp this. And then we've got this little element, which is that heart with the little dot on it. I'm like, what are you supposed to do with that? Well, that fits right inside each one of these petals to give you a really neat look. And it looks even neater if you center each one. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do that when I'm not sticking my head in the camera. So there we have a really pretty design with this flower. Okay, now I want to show you something. This is probably my favorite part. I absolutely love stacking these two, a framelit and a thinlet together just like this. And I'm gonna run this through my Big Shot and I'll be right back. And this is what you get. And again, it cuts the petals out, but it doesn't cut them all the way out so they stay right inside this element. Here's some more of these little tiny elements and I'm going to Grab my Calypso Coral, that's the color of my cardstock here. And I am just going to stamp these, this little diamond, on each one of the petals. Okay, so that, well, that one's pretty crooked. That in itself is like, yeah, okay, Kelly, whatever, right? But now we're going to come back in with this little element, and I'm going to find my glue. I'm going to glue this flower, 
right to the center of a two and a half inch circle. And then I'm gonna come back in with this little element and stamp in the outside. I think what really um, wows me with this whole suite of products is when you look at it in the catalog, it all looks very elegant and regal and kind of, I don't know, Eastern, Mediterranean looking. The paper is beautiful, but it's also very Mediterranean looking. And some of the stuff you can do with it is just fun. It's not Mediterranean at all. This card, not Mediterranean or Eastern or anything like that. These two elements, just very, very pretty flowers, right? All right, I'm gonna show you the rest of these cards and point out some of the elements here. Here's one of the thinlets that made this image out of the gold foil paper. And again, we've got these two, again, stacked together. These are our um, thinlets stacked together. Here's one made out of the vanilla note cards and envelopes, okay? And again, just kind of fun. How about this one? I love this card. We're using um, some of the stickers in here. And again, these are swap cards that I got. I did not make all these, so don't. It's like, oh, Kelly, you made so many cards. No, I didn't. I've been playing with this, but I, um, I did not make these. I don't want you to be led to believe that I did. But here's the designer series paper with the gold in it and also the gold foil paper behind it. And this is just a really fun card. Here's another one. This was made by one of my demonstrators, um, Sarah Simon. And this is a fun fold. So very cute. This was made by my friend Dina Rico. And again, this has nothing to do with Mediterranean looking or Eastern looking. But um, I love the way she put the sticker in the middle and a note for you. That's one of the stamps that comes in the Eastern Beauty stamp set. We've got these Life is Beautiful and a note for you that are kind of, you know, circle-y looking. Here comes another one. This is actually one of the stickers that comes in the suite. Here's a little bit of sticker here, too. This is a stamped image up here, and then this sticker is mounted on cardstock and then die cut with the framelit, and this is also die cut here. And another super fun card, this again is made by Dina Rico, and I wanted to show you, she put her accents on the outside here a little bit further away from her flower than I did, and that gives it a really neat look too. And how about this one? Again, lots of die cutting. We've got that lemon lime twist color. This is the designer series paper coming in here. Beautiful, beautiful card with the gold foil. And I wanted to show you this one. This uses the beautiful U stamp set. Here's that little heart with the dot element. And then this is one of the thinlets just, just behind here like a doily kind of sticking out. And then this is one of my favorites also. And they um, use the glimmer paper here to die cut that. The sparkle folder in the background. And then they use that little image in the corners on the inside of the card. So, I have one more tip for you. When you get your Eastern medallion um, framelits and thinlets, they come on a sheet with this sticky tape. This is not a lot of metal holding these together. So you want to very gently and gingerly pull these off of here so you don't bend your framelits. You want to keep them nice and straight, right? I hope that you've learned something new about this particular suite. It really is, really is gorgeous. And it does so much more than what the stamp set in the catalog looks like. I, you know, it always takes the demonstrators to show you the potential of um, a suite like this. 
And I want to let you know that I have 25 different project sheets that have full instructions, ingredients, and dimensions with photographs of 25 different cards that I send each of my customers when they order this suite. So if you put in an order of $100, I will send you all 25 of those project sheets. So you'll have 25 different ideas on how to um, use this particular suite. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you make some fabulous cards with these ideas. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what I'm here for. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above. I'd be happy to send you our new catalog that just went live June 1st. You can also check out my blog, astampabove.com. I'll have all the ingredients and dimensions for this card on there, so you can find those in one place. Have a great day.